So when you're gonna plant something new in your lawn and your lawn is full of dandelions, what do you do? You dig it up, tear it apart, and harvest dandelions. And these dandelions, as it turns out, were quite large. We got some that I would guess are probably in the five to 10 year old range, maybe older, I'm not sure. So you can see here that the turf from the grass is quite thick and I'm using the Hari Hari to cut it up and open it up so I can get the roots out. And then it is time to plant, but before planting, we need to sort of cut down the grass and make it so we can get in there with the shovel. Dig some holes up, loosen up the soil, and some echinacea babies that uh, mom gave me from her garden. Uh, we got a little root rot and some side branches there coming off, so that's uh, some strange growth from the echinacea, but we're gonna put it right into the ground here and it's gonna There's love it. Space there. It's very important to make sure that your roots kind of go in some different directions so they have an opportunity to spread out into the soil. Otherwise, they can just end, end as a tangled mass in the bottom of a hole. So Echinacea, being a prairie plant, is very happy here in the, in the former lawn and grass. And that's what you get at the end. You get echinacea blooms 